Hello and welcome to Money Matters. Since the pandemic started over a year ago, health has become a focus for many as people realize the need to have a strong immune system. This has meant healthy eating, along with a sale of healthy foods, is on the rise. I spoke with one health food retailer that's seen a 100% increase in business during the year of COVID, as well as a woman who changed her diet at the start of the pandemic to improve her health. My kids love this. So this one today is a sourdough. Why is sourdough so special? Um, it's better for you than regular bread. Um, the gluten load is much less. Um, it's better for your gut, basically. Val Taylor decided to go vegan a year and a half ago when the pandemic started. Knowing she'd be homebound with her family, she would have time to study recipes and try them out. For me, the whole point of this was to really look at how I was fueling my body and to really drop anything that was processed. So very little of what I cook for myself comes uh, even out of a can. In the first three weeks, the changes to her body were drastic. She says she lost five kilos. Since she began, she's lost a total of 11 kilos. I had been working out at the gym like a crazy person and not seeing any results. Um, and I was feeling very tired. Um, all of a sudden I had this massive surge of energy um, just from adjusting what I ate. So this is homemade almond milk. I just made it this morning. I soaked the nuts overnight mm -hmm. and it's just nuts and water, filtered water. I don't waste the nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, I use this in uh, keto bread, which is, um, bread is expensive. Val says that she's actually spending less on food by going vegan. What it does cost her is time. At the beginning, I was spending a lot of time. Um, I would say I spend um, two to three hours in the kitchen a day. And she goes to the market a few times a week for fresh produce. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. With all the washing and chopping involved, she says it's worth investing in a good blender, food processor, and dehydrator. For those who don't have time to make their own healthy meals, there are many options. One survey shows that 73% of Hong Kongers have used online channels to buy groceries more frequently than before in 2020, and that 84% will likely continue to do so in the future. Shima Shimizu, who started her online food business back in 2016, says that COVID was a game changer for her. We basically doubled our sales, maybe even more. Yeah, it was a huge growth. I think until then, Hong Kong people were not really open to ordering food online. They want to call us and say, so what is it like? How do we order? And, you know, we got a lot of inquiry before people placed their first order. But 2020, no questions asked. People were ordering things online. That same year, she decided to get a physical space for her goods, as well as her cooking classes, which she had been running since 2010. Not only does she stock her own goods, she's also a retailer for imported brands. So how much has your stock grown? I think now we have like 2,000 different types of products, so that's quite a lot, yes. Whether imported or locally made, the products are several times more expensive than their standard counterparts. Keto bread, for example, can set you back $150. Keto bread is made out of almonds and eggs, and that's pretty much it. So if you compare the price of a bag of almonds and a bag of flour, the price is obvious there. Yeah, it costs much more. If you go to the grocery store and look at the price of sugar, and you can see that it's very cheap. So we don't use processed sugar at all. Um, we use monk fruit sweetener, stevia, um, coconut sugar, and like healthy alternatives. Despite the high price tag, people are willing to spend the cash on what they don't have time to make themselves. Shima was forced to expand to meet demand. 
early 2020, our kitchen was screaming, like, don't take any more orders, we can't cope with it. So yes, that's why we had to hire more people, hire more full-timers. She says the majority of her customers are women aged 25 to 55, while her cooking courses are popular with the 20 to 30-somethings. She herself was a vegan back in 2008 and is a qualified vegan chef, but eventually switched to eating healthy, non-processed foods, the types of things she sells in her store and teaches in her classes. It's also something she wants to share with others. I want to focus more on helping people to transform their health and diet and really taking charge of their health. Um, so I'm focusing more on working with professionals like uh, maybe health coaches, trainers, doctors, and so that they can help their clients make better choices. Like Bal, she says the return on healthy eating for her was her energy levels. Like everyday life, just by having more energy and being able to perform their best and, you know, the happiness that comes inside, this is really priceless. Nutritionist Dr. Sonal Hatang D. Haridas agrees. You have to weigh out the cost versus benefit ratio in terms of what are you investing in your health versus how much you want to spend on a disease later. So you'd rather spend a little more in buying the right vegetables and if you do eat the right, uh, the right kind of chicken or fish, the right meat, rather than then later on have to pay doctor's bills because you weren't paying attention to your body for such a long time. She sees the fallout from fad diets in her patients. She says many become deficient in nutrients because they suddenly decide to follow strict diets. If one decides that they want to try one of the diets or the others, consult your physician. Talk to them about it. Discuss it. If your if your GP is aware of it, that's wonderful. Or go to a nutritionist. Discuss it there. Make sure you get the blood work done to see where you're at nutritionally before you start the diet. And once you start the diet, make sure you check on how things are. Belle did just that when she started on her healthy journey last February 2020. Cholesterol is superb. You have the cholesterol levels of a... 20-something, 30-year-old, oh, wow. very good. Um, the iron uh, is well within limits. It is not too low, which is something we worry about when yeah. someone switches to becoming vegan. Thank you. I have to keep going. It's, um, it's an everyday thing, but um, I'm having fun with it. I really enjoy cooking, I think, is what's helping a lot. Many worry the food may not taste good. This is a zucchini hummus, mm -hmm. um, and I've put it um, just with some um, whole seed crackers. Um, if you would like to try it, I'll just... Good. I can't believe I like vegan food. And she's not the only one who benefits from healthy eating. While her family hasn't adopted her diet, they are unknowingly reaping some of the benefits. I'm producing food in my kitchen that I would then sprinkle chicken or fish on the top of for my family. So I think my family are also getting some benefits from that too. Without really knowing. Without really knowing. <laughs> my husband has always had a thing against zucchinis, but he eats zucchini a lot. He just doesn't realize. <laughs>